Hey guys, this is a video where I'm going to do a quick intro and explanation of just the trig derivative rules. Now, just FYI, I'm assuming that you are already familiar with derivatives, and so I'm going to show you just a list of derivatives, um, and you can pause if you want to read them over. But these are all the rules that I assume you already know before we start this video. And so now I'm going to go ahead and show you, I, I'm just going to straight show you them. Um, so there are reasons why these equal what they equal, but that's for another video. So just to get straight into what the derivatives actually are. So we have the derivatives for sine and cosine, which are listed here. So notice that this one's positive, this one's negative. Then we have tangent and cotangent. Again, this one's positive, this one's negative. And then finally, so we have uh, secant and cosecant. Again, positive, negative. So you can kind of notice a relationship between some of the derivatives. And I'd highly recommend that maybe you, you pause the video um, and, and write these down. So if you're in my class, then you're, you're definitely going to have to know all of these. Um, and in, for any calculus class, really, you have to have these all memorized. So make sure you write them down if you don't already have them written down. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into doing some examples with this just to give you some practice. So if you have all of those written down, then why don't you pause the video and try taking the derivatives of these just to make sure that you've, you've got them and it gives you a little extra practice with some of the other um, derivative rules that we've already seen. Hit play when you're ready. Okay, so starting with a here, so I have 3x to the seventh minus cosine of x. Okay, so for this derivative, so first I have to take the derivative of 3x to the seventh. That's just going to be 21x to the sixth. Now, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so a negative and a negative is going to actually turn this now into positive sine of x, so make sure that you've got that. Okay, so moving on to b here. So now for b, we're going to have to use the product rule to do this. So with the product rule, first I take the derivative of e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and I do nothing to the second part of this, so I leave sine of x alone. Then I leave e to the x alone, and I take the derivative of sine of x. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, and you could always simplify from here if you wanted to, but we'll, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, now finally for these two, so knowing what we know right now and using the list of derivatives that I just showed you, um, the only way that we can do these two, the, these two different derivatives here is we're going to have to use the quotient rule. So when I take the derivative here, so first I take the derivative of so we're going to start with, uh, let's see, I'll, I'll do this in colors here. So I'll start with this one. So the derivative of 5 is just going to be 0. So I take 0, and then I multiply that pi by the bottom function, which is just cosine. And then I'll subtract from that. So I leave the 5 alone. And then the derivative of the cosine function is going to be negative sine. So all of this is over cosine squared x. So there's the first part. And now to work on the second derivative, which I'll do in green. So the derivative of the top is going to be 0. And then I leave the tangent function alone. Now I subtract them, that off. So I've got, uh, I leave the 3 alone now. And the derivative of tangent is secant squared x. And then I divide all of that by tangent squared x. So for this one, I will go ahead and simplify everything. So when all is said and done, this is actually going to be 5 sine x over cosine squared x. And then let's see, this will be minus 3 secant squared x over tangent squared x. So that was kind of a tricky derivative. But that actually kind of covers uh, the idea behind this video. I do have another uh, example video with more trig derivatives just working through the same idea. So feel free to check that out. Any questions or comments, you can drop me a line and I'll talk to you guys next time.